hi dear Pisces a very very good evening to you guys this is Anjali Taro and this is a general love reading for all the Pisces on moon Venus rising keep in mind this is general it might or might not resonate with you at the first place the second thing the roles can be reversed also third thing this is a reading from 17 till the 23rd of July and this reading is valid for every 12 sign that you're dealing with along with your own sign so let's start your, your part your partner or your person's current feelings for you right now at this present moment let's see Pisces uh oh we have the six of wands and the bottom of the deck is the star card okay six of wands see this person feels like uh, uh, they should be working on their own individual name fame and success right now or they might be in this energy of working things out with you and making them successful. Let me clarify. My eyebrows are very different these days. <laughs> I'm not able to find someone to make it. But anyway, let's clarify the six of wands. I am beautiful. I know that. Yeah. Thank you. So ace of swords and the king of cups and the temperance. Wow. Someone is feeling like coming towards you. Definitely this person feels like making things work out with you. They feel like coming towards you with truth and honesty and lots of love. Lots of emotional maturity. And with this energy of okay, I, I feel like I should fix this. Okay. This person definitely feels like bringing the balance back in the situation. This is the highly imbalanced kind of situation Pisces. Where one of you was giving and giving, the other one was just receiving and uh, that was not a balanced kind of uh, energy. So this person definitely feels like they can work this out with you and uh, with their honesty, with their truthfulness and with their patience. And with this energy of, uh, uh, you know, balancing the emotions in the situation. Okay. <laughs> this They feel like this. Because they still feel a connection with you. Even though you guys are not together physically, they feel still, still like they, they still feel there is a thread between you guys that keeps you guys connected with each other. Let's see what do you feel about this particular person or situation, Pisces. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So you feel like there is no way that you can give chance to this person or there is no way that this connection is going to be stable. Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Sun card, the Ten of Swords and the Six of Swords. Right. You are very clear in your energy spices that this is done and dusted and now you just feel like moving on to the next chapter of your life without even looking for looking backward. So you are still carrying a lot of past baggages with you but at the same time you are very certain and very sure that this situation is not going to work out. You got the clarity, you got all the answers that you wanted from the situation and you are like okay I am done. I have to move on. This is what you are feeling right now. Although you are still holding on to this energy of somewhere deep down, you are still holding on to this person. But at the same time, you are like, okay, I know it. I have to let it go. So this is what you are trying to do. If not doing it uh, uh, already, you are trying to do it with all your heart and soul, letting, letting it go. Let's see what this person wants from you. What are their intentions for the situation, Pisces? Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles. They want to bring the maturity and stability back in the situation. Okay, they want to provide the nurturing and uh, stable energies right now in the situation when uh, you are like got done with them. You are not interested in this person anymore because you have done enough. You have seen enough. You are like, I have to let it go for my own good. Let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Two of Pentacles, Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, right? This person is going back and forth. Even though they want to provide you the stability, they want to let, like, uh, let go of the confusion in the situation and they definitely want to start a brand new chapter with you with lots of love, with lots of uh, uh, promises of uh, like a stability in the situation. I think this person keeps on making fake promises and they never keep them and you are fed up with this like energy of theirs and you are like, okay, I have to protect myself from being used again and again. So it's better for me to let it go because I cannot do anything more in this. I cannot even wait more. So this person is on and off, in and out and confused kind of a person, immature kind of energy. Right now also they are the same but right now they want to fix it. This is what they want. They want to start from scratch. 
give it fresh energy give it fresh start with lots of passion with lots of fire hmm? they can't let it go but still they are immature i don't see them um, like uh, mature enough to handle these things let's see what do you want in this situation in this connection what are your intentions in this eight of pentacles okay see you feel like putting in the effort and energy in the right direction because you think that this is not the right direction that uh, the way you are going in one direction from a long time it's not the right direction for you so you you feel like choosing the right direction for yourself and putting in the effort and energy in that direction let's clarify the eight of pentacles we have the seven of pentacles four of swords and the seven of cups yeah you are in this energy of waiting for the right time when you are going to be completely healed so that you can uh, open up to new people new situations and new options in your life and you can work this out with others with new energies with new situations hmm? so you are waiting to heal yourself completely so that you can go ahead and start a new fresh love life of yours with new situations with new people with new opportunities not with the same person or same energy for those of you who are stuck on the past person or past energy although you are stuck on the past energy you are still in this energy of okay maybe i will find someone better in the future so let me just heal myself along with this energy of let me wait for the person to change the the past person that you are connected to so i don't think that's happening but anyway we are humans and we tend to do that so you are also doing that it's normal Mm -hmm. because you are not able to let it go you still feel a connection both of you still feel a connection one of you is giving up on this and saying goodbye the other one is like uh, trying to make this work out even though it's not working out no matter what you guys are doing in this mm -hmm. let's see what's coming towards you till the 23rd of july we have the five of swords and lot uh, like a temperance at the bottom of the deck so five of swords is telling you lots of games lots of manipulation and lots of stress lots of stress resentment anger this kind of energy you guys are going to get let's clarify the five of swords we have the seven of uh, six of wands 10 of uh, Six of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. See, you will be moving on towards the next chapter of your life. You will be moving on towards abundance, prosperity, and your overall growth and success in your life. And you will be surrendering to the divine. But at the same time, you will be carrying a lot of resentment and anger towards the situation that didn't work out the way you wanted it to work out. Or it could be very much possible that you will be working out on your individual growth and success, and you will be moving on. but the other person will be holding on grudges and uh, anger and resentment towards you in the situation so you have to face this kind of anger and resentment and and uh, negative kind of energies from a specific energy but you will be uh, moving ahead in your life regardless uh, what is happening in the background it doesn't matter to you actually so and the moment you will uh, like uh, let go of the situation completely like saying completely goodbye to them you will start seeing positive impacts on your life in in a, every area of your life to be honest with you especially in your financial growth and especially in your uh, success hmm? financial growth and victory and success wow stay in, stay as humble as grounded as you can pisces but you anyway are a very humble sign but stay calm and positive and hopeful do not lose your hope Let's see what is the guidance for you people in the situation Pisces. We have the six of swords and the page of pentacles and the seven of wands. Do not block yourself from new opportunities. I understand that you are moving ahead and you still carrying you are still carrying lots of past baggages in your life 
but do not block yourself from new people new situations and new friendships and new like uh, connections okay the more you are going to remain open to new energies and new opportunity opportunities the more it is it will be easier for you to move on to the next chapter of your life but it's very very important for you to keep your uh, like energies open to ready to receive ready to receive love and ready to receive love uh, receive friendship kind of energy love is not always like a uh, boyfriend girlfriend or husband wife kind of love it's universal love of friends and family and uh, people who really wants to like help us uh, to go to the next journey so keep your like uh, yourself open to that kind of love okay don't block it so thank you so much for tuning in uh, pisces i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste